Welcome to The Wire. We'll brief the local and international news of the week so that you can be more informed during your busy schedule. On Tuesday, tornadoes ripped through northern Texas, destroying 200 homes and damaging 650. No deaths have been reported, but crews are still surveying the area for more destruction. The National Weather Service in Dallas-Fort Worth estimates that the number of tornadoes that struck the area ranges from 6 to 13 and touched down around Dallas and Arlington. The most powerful tornado was rated an EF3 with wind speeds as high as 150 miles per hour. Mitt Romney won three primaries against Rick Santorum in the states of Wisconsin, Maryland, and the District of Columbia. With the recent victories, Romney passed the halfway mark to the 1,144 delegates needed to clinch the nomination, putting him in the lead by a long shot over other GOP presidential candidates. Santorum is not backing down and is hoping to win over Pennsylvania and four other states in the April 24th primaries. This week, the World Trade Center reached 100 floors. The Twin Towers that were brought down in the 2001 are being replaced by the One World Trade Center, which will reach record height. The skyscraper will surpass the height of the Empire State Building by nearly 500 feet and become the nation's tallest structure at 1,176 feet. The new World Trade Center is being built on Ground Zero in Lower Manhattan. The names of the nearly 3,000 people killed in the September 11th attacks and the six people who died in the World Trade Center bombing in 1993 will be displayed on bronze panels surrounding the building. The building is projected to be finished by next year or in early 2014. Stay informed by catching The Wire every Saturday on College Beats Facebook page. Thank you for watching. I'm Bella Zingali.